welcome back to Maha Random channel and as usual I will make another Vision 360 tutorial on this video I will probably make a wheel this let's make a guide first I'm using this uh, line type with construction let's make it like maybe 20 inch wheel enter okay let's finish the sketch basically I will make just uh, let's say five 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 spoke of the wheels we'll make a sketch here first in construction will be the guide right click and then okay I think I will change this into a normal sketch and I'll make another line here Oops, sorry let's turn this off we call line here I want to make this a little bit there and then I'll make another 20 inch sketch hit enter and I'll trim this extra line I will also make another line here Oops, let's just make it from the off with the offset feature here. Click the offset feature and then we select the outer rims. Let's make it like 15 millimeters. Okay, minus 15 millimeters. Or maybe just minus 10. Hit, okay. Now I will mirror this sketch hit ok I will make this uh, guideline into pipe sketch with circular pattern I mean I will make this uh, construction line into a circular pattern I want since I want to make a five spoke let assume let assume this one is a uh, one spoke and then we will make it another four so I will use this center line as a guide just add the circular pattern object already selected and then take the center point now you see we have three let's just add more quantity just five and then hit ok okay I think it's too big so I will make it a little bit smaller I will also make a guideline here with construction. Okay, you actually can make a the, the guideline here with with degree of this angle, but I just make a line here, and I will find center line from here to the center okay I think the line is nah, I think the sketch here is a little bit too big for me so I will just delete I will make a new one I will make it a little bit smaller so it will not touch the guideline here 
package right click ok then convert this will mirror the sketch hit ok now we can see sketch here So make a con construction here from here to this line right click and then hit ok this will become our guide for the sketch of the wheel let this finish the sketch first and then this will be our tools to cut the wheel and for the wheel itself I'm using I will be use a revolve command here I'll use the sketch and use this plane I want to make uh, the wheel a little bit have kind of let's say angle to the inside here we see here I want to make this an angle from this side this point here let this use front view I will use this horizontal sorry let's undo this I'll make sure this line here and make a constraint with horizontal right click okay I will just make this a little bit inside here and then we'll finish the sketch okay I think we should edit the sketch again right click edit sketch we'll add coincidence here from this this sketch to this one oops sorry so I think I will just use the dimension dimension hit the deep command then select and then we'll put since the wheel is 20 inch diameter so I will divide it into two to 10, 10 inch click and then as for the wide of the rim, maybe I will make it to 50 millimeters. No, I will to 70 maybe. I don't know the exact uh, dimension of the wheel, so just to make sure the proportion is good. I'll make the line here. Okay. I will use this and check the chain selection here. Let this clear the sketch curves. I will select this line, the inside line. I will just like 13 millimeters maybe you can use any dimension you want but I, I will just keep this uh, as proportion as possible let's just make another sketch here click it ok and then we'll use the this constraint this parallel constraint here with this so we'll 
have this the exact same line between this inside wall and this outside oops sorry let's finish the sketch first and then we'll right click edit sketch let's trim this extra I will add a little bit fillet on the inside maybe like 8 millimeter right click and okay as for the rim I will add some sketch here this constraint horizontal this one is also will make a horizontal with this let this finish the sketch first you can see here now I will do re the revolve command for this select the axis now we have this wheel but for now I won't I will not select this uh, area let this clear first cancel I will edit this sketch again right click and then edit I will add another sketch in here parallel constraint between this okay and then the dimension I will make it like maybe five millimeters and then finish the sketch in this part I will only re revolve this part here because I want to make a, a spoke a spoke with this and then I will revolve this first the sketch will be hidden if you want to show let's show in this hierarchy and then after that I will use this this sketch here cut the rim but before let's just edit the sketch edit sketch here I will cut this and make sure it will be straightened with this sketch here okay and then I will finish the sketch that I will extrude this selection this and this okay let this cut this one oops sorry extrude this selection I will also add uh, some kind of angle for the cut let's say 5 degree 5 degree maybe
say 10 degree oops I think it's a little bit wrong I will oh it's a, it's supposed to be minus let's say minus 5 okay you can see here I will add another degree maybe like minus 8 or maybe minus 10 <laughs> okay let's just enough for that okay we'll see the shape is like this let's edit the extrude edit feature here I will cut I will cut all through the wheel and then we'll hit ok now we have this basic shape of the rim of the spoke we will add pattern here circular pattern with this body click here select the axis axis will be this here and add the quantity into 5 okay now we already have a basic shape of the spoke maybe I will right click edit the feature okay that's enough now we just need to add another sketch here oops let's cancel this first I will unhide this next sketch this last sketch here where we can make another revolve I will make another revolve revolve select the object and then select the axis you can see here the rim is almost done let the op operation into a join ok you can see the rim is already have nice spoke shape and a little bit detail here so next we'll make a panel for the bolt but before that we need a construction here we need another plane here and then we will move the plane millimeters maybe no I think let's make it 80 okay now we will do a sketch here I don't know the exact diameter but I will try to make it as proportional as possible let's just make 130 maybe let's see any sketch First, we will extrude this case here to cut this area. Make sure the operation into cut and then we'll hit OK. And then we will unhide the sketch again. But now I will extrude this sketch into the prone area. But I will make it maybe I will just cut this sketch we'll cut let's see ok I will cut this operation here ok and then I will extrude again this sketch but now I will make new object here I want a little bit uh, some kind of extra material here so I will just add let's say like 45 make sure it's in the join option and then we will hit ok now we have this nice wheel and then I will add another sketch here on this plane 
think I want to make it make it a little bit bigger like 180 finish the sketch I will add another extrude but the area will only be just like this at the join oh I think this is enough I'll make it just like this okay that's it okay now all we need to do add some details on our rims add a fillet maybe I want to add uh, some nice radius here, maybe like five. Let's try five. No, oh. let's make it ten millimeters. Okay, that's nice. I think we also will add here. Uh, hold the control button and then we'll hit this. Hit okay. Also, add another fillet here, here. Ooh, there's something odd here. Hmm. I think I will cancel this one first. I will make the. I will change this, this dimension. This one. Maybe we'll delete this. this right click edit sketch let's change this into maybe like 16 160 mm okay the sketch we will extrude again but now we will only add here just Okay, let's hide the sketch, add fillet, I will add a little bit bigger, bit rounded here. How much? Okay, 15. Also add another fillet here. I think 35 is pretty much good. Ah, it's too big. Let's make it another 15. Hit enter. Okay, it's pretty nice. Oh now we'll add another fillet, just a little fillet. You actually can uh, make this fillet before we add some circular pattern on the spokes so it will save your time to select the every corner you want to fillet okay let's hit maybe to five Okay. I think I will add this extrude here. 
click and click tour into this distance okay ah this is better i will add a chamfer here say 20 maybe oops it's too big let's make it 10 okay that's better after that we will make a bolt hole let's make a circle here maybe like with 12 millimeter the dimension will be oops sorry cancel the dimension will be 35 maybe i make it mm, 44 then it's sketch oops okay let this through this into the hole we also make another sketch on the same place but just a little bit bigger than the first sketch let's make it like 28 and the sketch and the extrude okay we will add a chamfer here oops like this 8 maybe ok that's good ok we'll add a fillet here let's say 5 no, it's too big let's make it 3 ok now we just need to add another pattern here pattern with circular pattern i will change this body option into feature i will select this all of this feature and select the axis here number will be 5 ok I think, the, I think the dimension is a little bit too big here I will change this edit it to her. I will make it 5 maybe and then I will change the sketch here edit sketch dimension will be let's say 24 maybe or maybe 22 okay I think that's pretty good I will add another sketch here this will be circle dimension will be 50 millimeters maybe or maybe just 45 the sketch I will extrude cut this part ok I will make another sketch in here let's make it 40 maybe or maybe 38 and the sketch we'll also cut this through so we can see the bolt here okay it's time to add uh, some details on the ring and here here here
there's so many corner needs to be headed let's say okay I see some spot that haven't be rounded yet so I will just finish to select all of this first you can see here there's no rounded here I will do it later after we do this rounded part thing actually I only just want a little bit rounded shape in here let's see let's make it like two millimeters okay that's nice okay let's just select this okay in this picture like right click edit picture this one okay we will also change ah this we already missed this spot here found the pivot right click and the picture and then also add this okay We we'll also edit this one, edit feature here. We'll add this. Okay. Now we will add another rounded part here. Let's say like three millimeters. I think it's too small. Let's make it five. Okay. Now we have this. I hope nice feel here. Let's just save it first. Okay, I think it's enough for the wheel itself. Oh, sorry, I think I need to round this part also. This one. Because I need a soft transition. Let's make it 20 maybe. Hmm, too small, maybe like 50. So make this area here to make a smooth transition with the with the rounded feature. Let's make it maybe 60. Okay. Just, okay, this pretty nice. Now we just need to make a tire for this wheel. Make another sketch here. I will use this plane. You can use any dimension you want. I only use this tire as for the visual need. So I will add 
probably the dimension is not really nice or we cannot measure the exact dimension here but I will just make it as realistic as possible make it this around it here also here let's finish the sketch now all we need to do is just revolve the sketch select the axis I will make it a new body then we'll hit ok I think the tire is a little bit too thick. Let's just edit the sketch. Make it thinner like this maybe. And change this into 20. Something's very wrong with the sketch. go for the tire I will just add material for this let's say this one is a slick tire <laughs> okay Oh, there you go. I will just move it. I will render the file. I think that is enough for the tutorial. Maybe next time I will make a tutorial on how to make a thread on this tire. this whole wheel like this for now let's just render the object if you like this tutorial please consider to subscribe my channel thank you for watching i hope you enjoy the video see you in the next video